Cervical cancer is the fourth most deadly cancer in women. Every 90 seconds, a woman dies of it. Sadly, 90% of all cervical cancer deaths are in low and middle income countries, yet up to 90% of this type of cancers are preventable. Who told society that it is okay to force a woman to choose between her well-being and shame, between stigma and care, between being alive and being a pariah? No one should have to die from vaccine-preventable diseases. Why do we yield this critical advantage to the enemy? Vaccines work. Cervical cancer is preventable, early detectable, and highly curable. Don't we demand that people in power do all they can to protect those in their spheres of influence? Why then does the standard change when it comes to women, when it comes to sexually affiliated diseases? To have moral concern about the vaccine is like having concerns about wearing the seatbelt because you do not speed or you are not a reckless driver. See, many people may not have had their lives saved by a seatbelt in their lifetime, but those who do are grateful. In Nigeria, cervical cancer is the third most common cancer. The second most frequent cause of cancer death among women aged between 15 and 44, taking about 8,000 lives every year. In the last quarter of 2023, Nigeria introduced the HP vaccine into its routine immunization system, targeting 7.7 .7 million girls between the age of 9 and 14, keeping them safe. More than 35,000 health workers have been trained to deliver this life-saving intervention. So I'm asking you to join all efforts to make a cervical cancer-free country possible. See, Nigeria hopes to vaccinate 90% of all girls by the age of 15, screen 70% of women by age 35 and again at 45, then treat 80% of all women who have been diagnosed with cervical disease according to the global recommendation. So I'm asking you to get vaccinated get screened, get treated, and encourage others to do the same. Let us close the care gap. Say you love.